Yup! Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Uh, behind me, you may recognize from many, many months ago, a uh, sort of simplified business plan for Blue Table painting. Uh, I used to have a large portion of this wall covered, and uh, it, it was to grow the whole thing to about 240 people. Well, inside, I actually hated that plan because it, it, was, it seemed to be too diffuse that I couldn't really get to know all of those people. It's no good. Hey, Blue Table fans, it's a Saturday and I'm kind of like, okay, what am I going to make a video about? So I thought I'd talk to you about the company itself. Blue Table Painting was founded on January 1st, 2004. I started out of my garage. And since then, it's grown over the many, many years in a logical and sustainable fashion. And I have been uh, absolutely uh, knocked around by various problems that have come up over the years, but uh, have gotten through them all, learned, I'm stronger, I'm looking forward to the future. And uh, some of you may remember that about I don't know, four months ago, I got up, I had a much larger version of this, and <clears throat> it was, I think it was 240 people, and uh, I hate to say it, but I actually didn't like that plan very much. Uh, in, inside, it seemed like it was, it was growing into a, uh, it was growing into more of a, this monolithic structure. And uh, quite frankly, I think the miniatures assembly and painting industry, and maybe the war games industry in general, uh, doesn't lend itself at this time to having uh, very large companies, uh, dominant companies. Uh, naturally, we think of Games Workshop, uh, but uh, and th that, that's a topic for another, another day, why I think that one has come about. But... Uh, I believe the trend is going to be, is going to start moving more towards the middle. It's going to be not giant companies and not extremely small companies either. It will, uh, those will exist, but the tendency will be more towards the middle. So after getting many months of thought, I came up with a, a business, not just a business model, but I guess a business configuration that I thought, oh, by the way, notice I'm wearing a Mini War Gaming shirt. Isn't that awesome? You're welcome, Mini War Gaming. We love you. See, I'm not afraid to give some love. And something I think that will work a ton better. In fact, I was, because um, I didn't want the wall to be blank. Uh, and I, because you, you can't be in a place where you have no plan. You have no goal. You've got you've, you've to pick something and stick with it. You can change it, but while that plan is up, you've got to love it. And so I didn't just want to take it down and leave this blank wall. Um, uh, so one day I'm telling someone about this. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's it. And I'm going to do something about it. So I grabbed my box knife and I came here and I literally cut blue table painting down to this. And we're a goodly part of the way there. It's not just about hiring people. It's about, it's about, uh, and this is something I've been thinking a lot uh, about, is uh, punch. To have uh, influence, uh, maneuverability, huge. And, and also, is it fun? Is it something that I am getting up and I am excited about? Yes, I am excited about this. I'm getting up, I have a clear vision, I know exactly how it looks. This is how this structures and organizes physically into this building. And uh, without going in and looking at every single detail, uh, you've got, this is artists, this is the administrative uh, staff needed to support those artists. Terrain, uh, I have a terrain crew working on terrain. And down here, this is what's now known as our trade stock program. I really, I feel very good, I feel very strongly that this is uh, going to be a big part of what Blue Table Painting does because it all ties in together. I would love to take armies, refurbish them, um, and uh, just being involved with miniatures is, 
just great. I can't, I'm down here on a, nobody's in, but I'm down here on a Saturday. Some people have come in and left. Some people are working from home, uh, but I'm down here on a Saturday. I'm excited. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm right here. Fantastic. So anyway, and then off to the side, I grant you, I haven't given this a ton of thought, but, uh, you know, Forge of Creation is a uh, sub-venture that will actually produce component parts. Uh, and I think as we get to this point, that, 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 will make, that will make more and more sense. Yeah, kind of, I'm just, I'm leaving it up there because I love it. But anyway, this actually has a ton of math behind it. I've made spreadsheets for it. They calculate everything out. Uh, you know, this is the number, this is the amount of advertising, amount of type of advertising that you need to generate this amount of leads. We keep extremely close track of our numbers here. I can tell you within a tenth of a percent what our conversion rate is from people making inquiries to people that actually have us do something for them. And um, so there's, there's a lot of spreadsheets, there's a lot of math behind all this, and I, I find it all very exciting. Uh, on my laptop, I have a, a virtual junkyard of business plans, business models, um, different ways of, uh, you know, a spreadsheet. Uh, I, I made it many, many years ago. I don't use it anymore, but I made a spreadsheet that actually had everything to do with running the business on one page. And that if you, if you tweaked one thing, it would change the numbers for the other things. It all kind of calculated out together based on my own experience and uh, what I had seen actually come through. And so, th so that's where blue table painting is going. We're going for mid-size, but with a very, very strong uh, elite, if I dare use that word, um, extremely well-trained crew. And uh, we have quite a bit of ways to go, uh, in, enough of a ways that it's exciting and challenging and new. And uh, that, that's something that I found to be my strength, uh, is that I can, um, I can create diagrams, like, um, like actually, you know, sort things out. For, for example, here, let me show you this. So this is uh, like a flow chart. I just made this really quickly. This is a flow chart for the, um, for the trade program. Like, where will people actually sit? Uh, you know, what, what does it look like, look like? And again, this has, this has a whole, ooh, that was like a fun ride. Um, this has a whole mathematics behind it that, that makes sense. So anyway, just thought I'd talk about that a little bit and uh, tell you how much I appreciate. I appreciate each person that comes here. It's just, it's really absolutely super. And I can't wait to see uh, what the future brings.